The trend to outsource for best of breed continues amongst investment managers. Investment managers have decided to outsource the front, the middle, the back, or be it systems like auto management systems or reg reporting or performance and attribution. That trend just continues. As a result of this, the investment managers lose track of a single source of data. They need a single view of data across all these now various siloed functions. Uh, having an investment data warehouse clearly provides cross-referencing across all these silos. Uh, additionally, it opens up the possibility for the, for the investment manager to insource several functions if they so choose to. These could be pricing, corporate actions, fund administration. Uh, these functions could now be insourced as long as you have a single view of data across all your uh, various functions. Additionally, with the rise of environmental and social governance uh, metrics, uh, there is a need to marry more and more external data to functions which were outsourced. The investment data warehouse also provides the opportunity to do this. There is no one flavor of an investment data manager in this day and age. Certain managers have outsourced the entire portfolio, certain manage parts of it internally, certain manage the entire thing internally. In this day and age, a MDM has to be ready to be both a master as well as a slave. If an, if an investment manager has is managing all of its money internally, we typically see the MDM as being a, a true master. This could be bringing in price data, reference data, corporate actions data, calendars, etc. In certain cases where certain functions have been outsourced, for example, the middle and the back, the MDM is, pr is purely a slave or purely an enricher of data coming from an external function. Any modern day MDM today has to be ready to perform both functions in a, in a single instance.